Hey, welcome to Gino's Gems. I'm going to show a very popular indicator that's used by not only day traders, but swing traders alike. And it's pretty cool little indicator once you understand it. It's one of the first things I look at every day. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a, uh, a trader's desktop, their dashboard. I like to call it my dashboard or my cluster, like in the car. Like your dashboard in your car has a tachometer, or RPM, you got your gas gauges, you know, all those different gauges. Those are indicators. And just like your dashboard in your car, we have it for trading. So like here, you can see I have an indicator here, one here, one. Now all these mean something and you glance down at, at them every day. Like when you're driving, you know, you glance down, am I getting low on gas? Uh, what's going on here with the, uh, you know, the oil pressure, tire pressure, all these indicators, just to get a feel of the health of the market. These are the same thing. And the one I want to focus on here is the top left one, which I feel is one of the most important. And this can help you gauge the market in timing because timing's everything, whether it's day trading or swing trading, it's called the advanced decliners. Now, what's interesting is this indicator is everywhere. If you're looking through websites, for example, I'm here on uh, one of the uh, stockcharts.com, which is very popular. They have this uh, whole section on market breadth when they break down the markets, volatility, put call ratio. There it is right there. The New York Stock Exchange advanced decliners. Now, when it's a negative number, that means decliners are winning. So to give an example, you can sit here and pull up the New York Stock Exchange over 3,100 stocks or any exchange and you can add up. Okay, this stock's up. That's an advancer. This stock's down. That's a decliner. And you can sit here and go, okay, well, let's add up all the decliners here and let's subtract that from all the advancers. And then you would have what you call the advanced decline number. So stocks that are positive for the day are advancers. Stocks that are down are decliners. That's as simple as that. But we want to know who's winning, like what to what degree. When you look here, the NASDAQ advanced decline line, and then you have the American exchange advanced decline line. They break it down here negative. There's negative. So there's definitely more decliners. The net result is there's a lot more declining stocks in the market, which means it's hard for the market to go up. This would signal right now at this point in time, a bearish day. Let me pull up another uh, <clears throat> website. They give it to you right here. You can see right here on uh, fin businesses right here, advanced declining. Now they're giving you a number that is a combination of over 8,000 stocks, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, American Exchange. If you add up all those stock, just over 2,000 are up today and over 6,000 are down. So that's considered internally bearish, internally bearish. <clears throat> One more web website, just to give another example, is right here. Uh, I'm just going to briefing.com. So almost every major website out there has these internal indicators. So you can see the markets down here and then right below it, you got the New York Stock Exchange advanced decliners. And when you focus in on that, you got about almost 900 advancers and 2,350 decliners. That's about 1,400 decliners net, roughly, I'm just guessing here, that are you know outnumbering the Advancers. So that's definitely decliners are winning. You look at the NASDAQ, advancers are winning, or excuse me, 1100, the decliners are double that. So you can see. Now, the problem with these indicators are these are static snapshots. In fact, I'm just going to refresh the page here. It says 889 to 2346. When I refresh the page, um, it's still the same number and quite a few minutes have passed. So on these websites, they just don't you know, they're, they're delayed data. They just don't give you a lot except the number. Yes, they tell you who's winning. But what I want to know, and here's where the gem comes in and the hack and what traders use is, which way is this going? Is it getting worse or better? So most brokers or pretty much any software or, or chart software, you can go into your charts and on Thinkorswim, it's called dollar sign ADD. Let me put that up here, dollar sign ADD, uh, and check out what broker or software, what your advanced declining issues is. This is the New York Stock Exchange. And what's nice about this <clears throat> is 
you put it on your dashboard, your cluster of tachometers, tachometers and um, instruments. What it does is it gives you a real time look and you could use your technical indicators to see how it's doing intraday. So this is today right here. We're down 1,364 exactly real time. And you can see it started here and we're down here. Now for strength and for bullishness, you want this to be above zero. You want this to be positive numbers. So this is positive numbers up here. I've got a line and you wanna put a line at zero because when it's negative down here, that's bearish. So on your instrument panel, when you're watching this, it's much easier to, I like to use a five minute chart, use your favorite moving averages and you can see the trend. So I'm on a five minute advanced decline. You can see we are getting weaker throughout the day. We're finally starting to get above the moving averages. So I'm starting to see some strength come back in the markets, even though we're negative, we're starting to see some strength coming back in the markets. We've come off our lows or the decliners. So a lot more stocks are starting to turn positive. This is a very negative number for the day. So this has got a long ways to go before I feel comfortable that the money's coming back into the market on the buy side because zero is way up here. So what I wanna see is if I was buying on a dip or time this bullishness, I wanna see this start and turn positive, just like a chart, higher highs and higher lows. I definitely wanna see it breaking through zero to the positive side. But until I see that, the internals on this indicator are bearish. This is a bearish indicator. You can see the trend down here. Decliners are definitely winning. Once again, I wanna do round trip and finish where I started. This is my indicator on the left. And once you put this together with your other internal indicators over here, you start to see the different trends. It helps you time the market. And this is one of the things I said in the newsletter. I'm watching this first thing in the morning and throughout the day. Before I trigger in on a bullish position, I wanna see the momentum, the undercurrent of the market. The, the, I wanna see the momentum of buyers coming in here. I wanna see this definitely trending up. Not quite seeing that yet. It's trying, it's trying, I see it, but this is real time. And it's something you wanna glance at every few minutes as a day trader or a swing trader, or just throughout the day to get a feel like, is this the data scan for bullish or bearish? That's it for the advanced decliner. And any questions on that, I'll be in the lounge and show you how to set this up in your account also.